Navigating Online Schooling. Good morning. I am Ms. Maripaz Ortiz, Guidance Counselor of Pamplona and Cardoner Clusters. During our Kumustahan and Guidance Formation sessions, I asked about your online learning experiences. Allow me to recall some comments you made. At the start of the school year, most students describe the new setup as exciting and a bit scary at the same time. On the upside, no more commuting to and from school, but having more time to relax, sleep, eat, and exercise. More freedom and comfort at home. More time with family. Challenges, however, included dealing with connection problems, finding Google Classroom codes and Google Meet invites, getting used to the new schedule, tracking homework, meeting deadlines, and studying on your own. Also mentioned were eye strain and headaches from staring at the screen. Because you do homework and group projects at your own pace, it is tempting to procrastinate and then make up by cramming late into the night until the early hours of morning. Being Homebound can cause distractions like watching videos and playing video games for so long only to realize that it is already time for dinner. Adding to your unnecessary stress are those elusive group project members who have become even more elusive during FaceTime. So having received your first term grades, what can you say about them? How do you feel about your performance? What has worked for you? Where can you improve on? More often than not, everyone who did well and even exceeded expectations can say that they put in hours needed to master lessons. They manage their time. They set goals for the day and for the week. They engage with teachers and classmates to make learning fun and meaningful. They submit quality work before the deadline. And of course, maximize computer technology and the internet for learning. What else can you do for the rest of the school year? When lessons are not clear, do request for an appointment with your teacher. Take time to ask your questions and also to get to know your teacher better. Confirm your guidance session invitation and meet your counselor or initiate a session yourself. It is a good opportunity to share how your studies are coming along how things are at home, and what personal issues you might want to discuss. We would love to hear your stories. Continue to do your best. Do it for yourself. Do it for your families who have and continue to work hard so that you can get a good education. Be grateful for what you have. Remember, that there are many children who do not have their own gadgets and struggle to find the means to continue their studies. Now that we have migrated into cyberspace for academic learning and formation, we can draw inspiration from the example of Blessed Carlo Acutis, the first millennial saint. You might ask, who is Carlo Acutis? He was an Italian teenager who was passionate about computers and anything computer-related, programming, film editing, and comic layouts. He was fascinated by the internet and enjoyed PlayStation. 
but was careful with how much time he allotted for them. He made sure that he balanced these with other activities to have a well-rounded life. A bright and cheerful student, Carlo attended a Jesuit high school. His teachers said he liked to talk in class and got along well with his schoolmates. He played soccer and biked around. Like you, he was molded under the Jesuit ideals of pursuing magis and striving for the greater glory of God. A man for others. He would give food and blankets to the homeless. He did volunteer work for the destitute children and elderly. He also protected disabled peers from bullies. Carlo regularly attended Mass and would spend time reflecting in front of the tabernacle. He called the Eucharist his highway to heaven. He is best known for creating a website on Eucharistic miracles from different parts of the world. He wrote, The more Eucharist we receive, the more we will become like Jesus, so that on this earth, we will have a foretaste of heaven. Diagnosed with leukemia, he died in 2006 at the age of 15 years. He was beatified recently, last October 10, 2020. Let us pray. O Lord, you have given us the testimonial of the life of your servant, Blessed Carlo Acutis. Confirm our faith, sustain our hope, strengthen our charity in the image of Blessed Carlo Acutis, who growing in these virtues now lives with you. Blessed Carlo Acutis, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.